Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead series, your source for all the latest news and updates. Alright, today we have a brand new update into Red Dead Online. I'll be going over everything you need to know, any discounts you want to take advantage of and more. Now this week isn't the best week we've had ever in Red Dead Online, but it also isn't the worst. You know, it's a fairly average update today we're going to be going over. First of all, there is triple money on showdown modes. So this applies to all showdown modes in Red Dead Online and this week's featured Gun Rush series, all of which offer tripled payout rewards until the 6th of July. Personally, this still is not a good enough bonus for me to even go near showdown modes. I'm so over this at this point. Rockstar has done so many bonuses in showdown modes, I'm really not that interested to play them at all at the moment. Not to mention, running your roles is still going to be better money for you in Red Dead Online. If you gather collections while having your trader and your moonshining business um, generating stock to sell, you're going to be making much more money. Speaking of which, trading and moonshine mash refills are free this week, so if you want to resupply either of those businesses, it's not going to cost you anything and is a nice little incentive to keep those businesses running this week. Normally I always resupply the trader myself since it's really usually pretty fast to do so and the Moonshine Mash refills they usually cost around $50 so you're going to be saving some decent money if you are running these regularly throughout the week. Before we continue with the video I would like to thank the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring and supporting this video. They reached out and decided it was about time I upgraded my messy wallet designed in the 90s with their super sleek and lightweight design. There is over 30 colours available, I decided to go with the burnt titanium design. These wallets hold up to 12 cards plus cash, they're made with RFID blocking technology to protect you from digital pickpocketers, and they'll even give you a full refund if you don't love it within 45 days. And you don't need to just take my word for it, they have over 30,000 5 star reviews. You can get 10% off your order by going to ridge.com forward slash silent and using code silent. If you have not already started your trading business for whatever reason, you can get started as the butcher table that is required to start the trading business is discounted by 5 gold bars, so that's going to cost 10 gold bars instead of the usual 15. There is a new weekly collection, this consists of the 1792 quarter, the old tom gin, the Aubrey onyx ring, and that is part of the Veterans Collection and you'll get a nice reward if you deliver those three sets either to Madame Nazar or to any post office. Moving on to the weekly discounts, there's actually quite a lot on sale this week to go over. First of all, there's 40% off all guns in Red Dead Online. If there's been anything you're eyeing up, <laughs> now's a good time to get them as 40% off is probably as good a discount as you're going to get on these. I don't know about you guys, but I'd absolutely love to see Rockstar do a bonus on gun customization. I feel like we haven't had that in forever. I'd probably spend a ton of money on getting my guns gold plated or silver plated and customised if they were actually to do some sort of bonus or discount on these. But we haven't had that in quite some time. There's also 50% off melee weapons, 50% off thrown weapons, 60% off ammunition, 40% off pamphlets and free gun oil. First of all, I'd recommend you guys opening up your catalogues and ordering max stacks of every type of ammunition. That way you can get a max stack of your ammunition that will be sent to your post office and you can use that to resupply yourself as you play the game and you can hold quite a lot of ammunition there in your post office whenever you need to grab it. While you're in your catalogue it's also worth going to your hunting and fishing section scrolling all the way to the end and claiming as many free gun oil as you can. Remember your post office can hold a max stack of 99 gun oils so you can store quite a lot of gun oils in your post office even though you can only hold a couple actually on your person. And you might as well grab them while they're free, right? <laughs> also, 40% off pamphlets is probably one of the best discounts you're going to see in Red Dead Online for these, so make sure you grab any pamphlets that you may need. I'd recommend all of the explosive ones and also the incendiary ones are pretty fun to use. Very good for any PvP or if any griefers are giving you any hassle, explosive ammo is very handy. And the one last thing to go over is the Twitch Prime bonus. If you missed this last week, Rockstar actually updated this. So if you still have an active Twitch Prime membership and you've linked your Rockstar and your Twitch Prime accounts, you're going to get a bunch of free rewards in Red Dead Online, including $1,000, which is a decent, decent hunk of change right there. You'll get 5 gold bars off the butcher table, 6,000 trader XP, 40% off a horse, 40% off a stable slot, 40% off a shotgun, 
and 50 incendiary buckshot slugs. Unfortunately, we still have no news on what the next DLC into Red Dead Online is going to be. I know a lot of you guys are just holding out to get that news before you start playing again. But most likely, when we do get the announcement for the next DLC, Rockstar are only going to give us maybe a couple of weeks to prepare for it, similar to what they've done for the last update with Red Dead Online, and also their last update with Grand Theft Auto Online. We didn't have much time to prepare. So make sure you guys are prepared beforehand and you have all the money and gold bars that you may need for that DLC. If you do want to be the first ones to know about any breaking information regarding the next major DLC, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any breaking updates. And if you watched this video all the way to the end, I'd really appreciate it. If you could leave a quick like on it, it really helps support my video and supports my new series as a whole. Have a good one guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video.